What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, former unified British heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua is set to have his highly anticipated unification heavyweight rematch mega showdown with Andy Ruiz Jr., current unified Mexican heavyweight superstar boxer and champion who became the first Mexican heavyweight champion in the history of the sport of boxing, December 7th, Saudi Arabia, this upcoming Saturday. With that said, the reports came out that Anthony Joshua is set to make $85 million uh, guaranteed purse for this fight. And Andrew Weez is set to make $13 million guaranteed purse for this fight. And there was a lot of chatter. Of course, everybody likes to use the comparison between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And when it, when it all boils down, everybody likes to talk about the purse, how much one is making, who is the A side, who is the B side, right? Who's doing what? Who's selling more tickets? Who's selling out more pay-per-views? Who's doing bigger venues, right? This is a constant. With that said, uh, a lot of people yesterday and over the days, since this report came out, were saying that Anthony Joshua was going to break records and they were proud that Anthony Joshua, you know, uh, uh, is making $85 million. And they used this as an argument as to why he's a B-side or more popular fighter to Deontay Wilder, undefeated bronze Olympic medalist, WBC American heavyweight champion, the longest reigning champion in sport of boxing history uh, uh, currently. Uh, uh, and he has 10 title defenses, right? Tied Muhammad Ali. He just fought recently against Luis King Kong Ortiz, which he was a dramatic seventh round knockout, which I predicted. Now, let's get to this purse. Anthony Joshua just come out and debunked the whole uh, notion that he's making $85 million. He just came out and said that he's actually making 30 to 40% of that. He's not making $85 million. And uh, uh, he has to invest wisely because he doesn't want to be like guys like Larry Holmes who had to take the bus who uh, uh, after his fights because he, he went through his money. He don't want to be like guys like my, Mike Tyson who burnt through his money. He says, uh, uh, you, can't, you cannot bank on what you believe is yours. He says, if I go in thinking I'm making $85 million, that's not what I'm making. He says, I'm making a portion of that, 30% of that. He says, I'm, uh, um, after taxes, after I pay uh, uh, my fees and the people that I owe, I'm, I'm gonna probably bring home about 30% of, of the $85 million. Right? He says, there's no way I'm making $85 million. I wish I was making $85 million. But this is why you make smart investments. So later on, after the sport of boxing is over for you, right? He says, it's good to have uh, championship belts. It's good to have titles. He says, but after you retire, they're just going to pass that to somebody else. He says, you, and you can't do nothing with it. Like Floyd Mayweather always said, my kids can't eat titles, right? Uh, uh, so the titles don't feed my kids. Actually, I pay for the sanction body fee. So it costs me money. So Anthony Joshua said it's good. He definitely wants to uh, recapture his belts. He said it's good to uh, um, to be a champion, right? For your legacy, for history. But at the end of the day, right? It does nothing for you. It doesn't feed you. So he said that, you know, uh, uh, yeah, it looks good that it's perceived he's making $85 million, but he's not actually making $85 million. He says, I'm gonna make about 30 to f and maybe 40% of, of the $85 million, which is still a huge chunk. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. That's still a mega chunk. If it's 40%, right? That's nearly half of 85. So that's what? Uh, 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 40, 42 and a half million dollars, right? Uh, uh, so that's a huge chunk. So let's say he's making 30% of it, right? So he's going to bring home, what? Maybe about $29 million. That's still a huge chunk of money. You understand? So uh, don't get me wrong. He's still making a huge chunk of money. But Deontay Wilder uh, was a guaranteed person of $20 million in his last fight against Ortiz. And his fight with Ortiz is nowhere near as big as Joshua's fight with Ruiz. To be honest, jo we have to be honest. Joshua's fight with Ruiz is a bigger fight than Deontay Wilder versus Ortiz, right? Because for two reasons. Deontay Wilder is the... Um, is the, the, the A side, uh, uh, he is the meal ticket. He's the golden child in that fight, right? And uh, so with that said, he already knocked out Ortiz. So 
you know, uh, uh, the dramatics, it was a it was a hard fought fight. It was an exciting fight the first time, but the fact remains he already knocked Ortiz out. In this fight with Joshua, Joshua is still perceived as the A side, but he lost his last fight. So everybody wants to see if it's a bounce back fight. Was it a fluke? Did, did Andrew Ruiz get lucky? So the fight with Ruiz and Joshua is a bigger fight than Ortiz and Wilder. And yet, it's still, Wilder was, was set and guaranteed to make $20 million. So if Anthony Joshua walks away with $29 million, let's say about 30%, Let's say he walks away with 30 million. That's 10 million, and this is a far bigger fight for Joshua than it is Wilder's last fight. You understand? So, uh, this debunks all the notion that Joshua's making $85 million for this fight. No, he's not. No, he's not. They put that jacket on, they label him for tax reasons. But he's not in, in, uh, uh, in, um, Oh, actuality, not making $85 million. So he just debunked the notion. So guess what? That argument goes right out the window. And it's, this has come from the horse's mouth itself. Anthony Joshua debunks the $85 million, says he's not making $85 million. In fact, he's going to make stand to make about 30 to 40% of that, if that is what he said. And so he's going to uh, um, invest his money wisely for the future. Because if he, he says... I would be I would be silly to believe that I'm gonna make 85 million dollars for this fight. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue Blue Bud Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Bud Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L. D B C shout out the new media shout out the black media role make sure you like and share these videos that's all I got for y'all Anthony Joshua former unified British heavyweight world champion says that in fact uh the, the reports of him making 85 million dollars are not true he stands to make about 30 to 40 percent of that which is probably going to be about you know uh uh 30 million dollars but that's all I got for y'all peace